September 25, 2018 September 25, 2018 Fargard, N.D. App A North Dakota woman convicted of killing her pregnant neighbor by cutting the baby from her womb testified Tuesday that her boyfriend had pressured her to produce a baby after figuring out she had lied about being pregnant. Brooke Cruz told the court that she had concocted a phony pregnancy to keep from losing William Hearn, who is on trial for conspiracy in the August 2017 death of 22-year-old Savannah Graywind. Hearn has admitted helping to cover up the crime, but says he didn't know that Cruz had planned to kill Greywind and take her baby. Cruz testified that she never explicitly told Hearn that was her plan. Cruz said Hearn appeared surprised when he entered the bathroom in their apartment and discovered she had cut Greywind's baby from her body. Cruz said her then retrieved a rope and tightened it around Grey Wine's neck, saying, if she wasn't dead before, she is now. Grey Wine's daughter survived and is being raised by family. Hearn spoke regularly with his attorney, Daniel Borgen, during Cruz's testimony but showed little emotion. Cruz was crying and sniffling throughout. You never told Will that you had planned to do this, is that right? Borgen asked. Not kill Savannah for her baby, no, Cruz replied. In fact, there was never a conversation at all about killing Savannah and taking her baby, Borgen said. Not explicitly, she said. It wasn't immediately clear what Cruz meant by explicitly. Cruz described her relationship with Hearn as rocky and violent, saying it was fueled by drugs and alcohol. She said they broke up at one point, and that's when she lied to him about being pregnant. She went so far as to email him a phony positive pregnancy test and sonogram photo. In early August, Hearn told Cruz he didn't believe she was pregnant and said she needed to produce a baby. Cruz said she believed this was an ultimatum, I took that to mean I better have a baby, no matter how it happened, Cruz said. Cruz originally told police that Greywind had given her the child. She later told police they had argued and that she pushed Greywind down and knocked her out before cutting her open. A medical examiner testified Monday that there was no evidence of any head injuries. Cruz stuck to her story Tuesday, saying she pushed Greywind, who was knocked out when her head hit their bathroom sink. Cruz said that's when she got a knife and began cutting the baby out. Cruz said the couple kept ropes around the house because Hearn liked to tie her up during sex, including around her neck. She also said Hearn expressed fantasies about killing people and Cruz said she initially told him she would be interested in that too. The medical examiner who performed the autopsy, Drive. Victor Froloff testified Monday that he isn't sure whether Greywine died from blood loss or strangulation. Greywine's disappearance sparked several searches before her body was found several days later, shrouded in plastic and dumped in the Red River. Cruz testified Tuesday that police missed Greywine's body and her baby during three searches of the couple's apartment. Cruz testified that Grey Wine's body was in the bathroom closet and the baby was covered up next to Hearn on a bed during one of those searches. She said Hearn eventually moved Grey Wine's body to a hollowed out dresser and the two of them carried it out of the apartment. Fargo Police Chief David Todd did not immediately respond to a message seeking comment on Cruz's testimony. Cruz pleaded guilty to murder and is serving life in prison without parole. She said she has no agreement with prosecutors for a lesser sentence in exchange for testifying. Grey Wine's death prompted North Dakota Sen. Heidi Heitkamp to introduce Savannah's Act, which aims to improve tribal access to federal crime information databases and create standardized protocols for responding to cases of missing and slain Native American women. A similar bill has been introduced in the House, copyright C, 2018, the Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten, or redistributed.